Hi, I'm Olivia J. You can follow me on Instagram at the real Olivia J. Follow me on Twitter at Olivia J XXX and follow my OnlyFans at OnlyFans.com slash the Olivia J. We are in Sin City, Las Vegas, Nevada. The day before the AVN show, and who are we talking to? Olivia J. The one and only. <laughs> this woman's very busy and very popular. We thank you for your time. I appreciate it. Where are you from originally? I'm from Washington, D.C. Born and raised? Yep, born and raised. Go to public school, private school? Public school. Uh, in grade school, do you have a favorite subject? Um, art. Definitely art and history. And I know you were really young at that point. Did you have any idea what you wanted to do with the rest of your life? Yeah, back then I wanted to be an artist. Like painter, draw, like drawing, painting, like you name it. In high school, were you a popular girl? Were you a loner, a geek, a nerd? <laughs> I was pretty quiet, but um, I would say like through elementary to middle school, like I was kind of a nerd. But in high school, like, I don't know. I don't know how to say it without like sounding, you know. Popular with the boys? Yeah, pretty popular with the boys, not so much with the girls. Did you ever get bullied? No, I wasn't bullied, but like some girls didn't really like me all that much because, you know, their boyfriends liked me. So, sorry. <laughs> were there cat fights or were there, or they just giving you the looks? No, it was like, you know, the looks, you know, rumors and things like that. But at that time I was very quiet. I wasn't, I wasn't even really thinking, I wasn't like super boy crazy back then. Like I had one little boyfriend that I liked, but that was it. So you were a good girl in high school? Yeah, I was definitely a good girl. You weren't sexually active? You didn't do anything? No, not at all. Well, not until like late high school. But like early on, no, not at all. I was actually like very religious, you know, kind of afraid to, you know, I didn't want to go to hell. <laughs> that was my main thing. So, so no, I, I didn't, I didn't want to like, I don't know. I was, I was pretty shy and quiet, so I didn't want to do too much. Remember the first time you saw something adult? A magazine, a movie? Yeah, I actually came across one of my brother's stash. Yeah, he had, um, I don't know, Big Booties Volume 5 or something like that. And, I mean, it surprised the hell out of me. <laughs> Were you surprised because it was naughty? Were you surprised because it was that explicit? Were you surprised? I mean, yeah, it was like, boom, pow. Like, I didn't expect it. Um, like I said, like, we were very, like, religious and, like, pretty, like, I don't want to say conservative. We weren't, like, super conservative, but, like, we were definitely, like, in the church a lot. So, yeah, I didn't expect that. <laughs> Had you ever thought about doing adult material when you saw it? Back then? No. Hell no. <laughs> Did you do any modeling or anything at that point? No, I was way too shy to do any modeling or anything like that. Like, I was, honestly, I was just trying to, like, you know, get straight A's in school and, you know, keep people from talking bad about me. In college, you know, you were an introvert in high school. People say that when they get into college, they go crazy. I mean, I'm still an introvert, believe it or not. I mean, I'm just an introvert that likes to have fun sometimes. But, but yeah, I will say definitely in college, I opened up sexually a whole lot. At that time, like, I was very curious about um, just different sexual things. I would uh, read different magazines and books um, about just sex. Sex with boys, sex with girls, sex with toys, sex with like, bonded, sex. Just like, I would say like, pleasing other people, pleasing myself, how to have an orgasm. Like, I really wanted to learn, like, you know, just different ways of pleasure. In, in college, did you model or anything? Did you do anything like that? Um, like, here and there. Like, I, you know, did, like, little fashion shows in college and things like that. But, like, nothing too crazy. But I would say, like, my main thing was, like, I didn't want to play by anybody else's rules anymore. Like, 
I tried so hard to like be this good girl and you know I didn't want to disappoint anybody but not, it didn't matter you know like people still sexualized me people still you know wanted to fuck me and people you know people still projected things onto me so like I just decided that like it you know it's not my fault it like it's, I have no control over it so I might as well like do what it is that I want to do without kissing your butt you're a very attractive woman now oh. I imagine you're pretty hot thank college. you did you know that? Did you, um, did you use it to your advantage? No, I mean, I, no, like I, I was always like, very humble. I didn't, um... I mean, you walk by in the skirt she's wearing, guys, and you're <laughs> a little bit. She got crazy legs. She got a nice fucking great body. You had to have had mm. heads turned and stuff, and you had to have noticed that. Yeah, um, yeah, I definitely did notice it. Um... <laughs> So you like the attention? Not, not always. I mean, because like, like I said, like sometimes it, w it would feel like to me that I was getting punished for the attention I was getting. And how do you make the transition into this business? Do you meet an agent? Do you? Yeah. So yeah, that was a crazy story because honestly, like I was not thinking about being a porn star or anything like that at the time um prior to the pandemic i was working a regular nine to five job and um ended up losing my job during the pandemic as everyone else did so i just started camming and um you know just putting myself out there and a bunch of agents hit me up so at that point is it you doing it for the money or the attention or both um I mean, you know, of course the money, <laughs> but I don't know. I just wanted to just live life on my own terms, you know, like I don't care about disappointing people and, you know, just trying to live up to somebody else's bullshit expectation. I just want to do me and live my best life. You're camming. Remember the first time a man pulls out his penis? Did that scare you? Did that excite you? Did that... Oh man, um, I actually had somebody do that to me in person in a, uh, in a nightclub. <laughs> now that was scary, I ain't go I'm not gonna lie. Because you know like when you're in, a, um, you're in a nightclub and you're dancing yeah, and yeah, you, yeah, you yeah. grinding on people and then um, I don't know, I felt something warm like and, and then I turn around and like the guy's dick is out. So like I fucking slapped the holy shit out of him and called the security <laughs> and that was that. Okay, you, you webcam and you get hit up by an agent. Do they explain to you that we want you to do pornographic films? Do they say what to you? Yeah, so, um, I mean, I knew what it was and it just seemed like fun. So I thought like, why not? Like you only live once, especially during that time, like during the pandemic, it was a very scary time. And a lot of people, right. yeah, it was a lot going on. So like, I just wanted to live like live life to the fullest at that point. Turn on for you that you have sex with somebody you don't know. I mean, it wouldn't be the first time I've done that. <laughs> but is that a rush for you though, or is it? Are you a person who likes to develop a relationship and, and all that? Um, prior to porn, I'm typically like into like being somebody's girlfriend and building a relationship. But no, not anymore. Like. Honestly, like, I, I really do enjoy, like, what I do, like, just... So you prefer sex instead of romance? I mean, who says you can't have both, though? I mean, you could, you could definitely have both. You've been in the business for a year, roughly? Uh, two years. Two years, okay. Yeah, going into my third year, actually. Is it difficult for you to have a relationship with a civilian? Not really. I mean, it really depends. I'm very transparent, I'm very honest about like, you know, who I'm dealing with. So they know what I'm doing and usually like they're very supportive. Are they expecting Olivia J sex or are they expecting sex with you? <laughs> I mean, yeah, there, there definitely is a difference. I mean, I, I try to give them both, you know, like, of course, 
I don't know, because like sex on camera is definitely different. Like, because Olivia J sex, like you have to like open for the camera and do certain things, and it's not as intimate. But like in a relationship, I like to be like super intimate and close. So I don't know. I I like the regular sex better. Do you intimidate most guys you meet? Because you're very good looking. You've got much more sexual experience than them. <laughs> Um, I mean, usually, like, they probably don't know what I do. I mean, because, you know, I'm pretty unassuming in person. Like, I, I look like an innocent, you know, I don't look like a porn star in person. So, no, I don't intimidate people. Not like that. And for you, how much different are you than the person people see on camera? How much of this is an act? Oh, this is not an act at all. This is definitely all me like i am not like a crazy like i don't know i would say like when i get into the scene and like you know once you know the sex starts then yeah it's on and popping but before that like i'm pretty shy and like you know conservative you know until there's a dick in my mouth then yeah it's on and popping when it comes to sex with your home speak on camera when it comes to sex what Freaky at home or freaky on camera? Hmm. Hmm. I mean, what you see is what you get. So, like, whatever I do on camera is like what I like to do. Uh, for a guy to have a chance in hell with you, tall, short, fat, skinny, what kind of guy? I like a guy with a sense, a sense of humor. Um. You know, you can't be broke. <laughs> um, I like a nice guy. I like a gentleman. I don't like, you know, the asshole types. Um, I don't care if he's, like, tall or short. I don't care about, like, you know, shallow shit like that. But, I don't know, I like a, a nice guy who can make me laugh and who's open-minded. Are you a size queen? Not always. I mean, sometimes I am. Like, especially like, you know, when I'm ovulating, I need like a, a big nine inch girth. I need to be like filled up and stuffed during that time. But I don't know, usually like other days, like I'm fine with like a good boyfriend dick, especially like when I come home from work. I like, you know, a good six inches to come home to after getting pounded by a 10 incher. You as a woman, what is it that gets you going? Do you like your neck nibbled, your boobies played with, your clit lift? Oh yeah, all the above. Like, yeah, I have like super sensitive nipples, very sensitive clit. Um, I just love for, like, foreplay. Like, I like kissing and like being caressed and yeah, just filled up on. Dirty talk? Yes, definitely. Yeah, dirty talk to me. I love, I love it when a man moans. Like, don't hold back that moan. I love to hear it. Uh, do you like butt play? you like your butt play with their spank? Or... I like to play with my own butt. <laughs> do you do anal? Don't do anal? No, I don't do anal. Not yet. But, like, I like fingering my own ass, like, while I'm getting fucked or, like, you know. Favorite position? Um... If it's a hookup, then I like doggy. If it's somebody special, then I like mish, missionary. When you're filming, do you have a favorite position? Um, I like riding during filming. Do you remember the first time you did something sexually? You touched yourself, you had a vibrator. <sighs> I remember the first thing I remember was like maybe dry humping my boyfriend back in the day because I was terrified of sex. So, you know, to avoid going to hell, I just like grinded on him. And I remember like my pussy being soaking wet, like through my panties. Did you know what you were doing? Did you know that that was dirty or naughty or just felt good? Oh, it just felt good. Yeah, and like we were kissing and like I said, I like being caressed and like rubbed on. So, 
yeah that's when i knew that like i had a super wet pussy because i was like like my panties were like super soaking wet you remember the first time you went all the way yeah i remember that i initiated that <laughs> yeah it was um yeah it was like new year's eve and i just told you know my little boyfriend at the time like hey i'm ready now after like telling him i would say like a week before i literally cussed him out because i i found condoms and i was like who is this for like you're not going to use it on me because i'm going to be a virgin until i'm married and then a week later i'm like yeah i'm ready <laughs> you do it the first time do you become sexually active or do you wait before you do it again yeah the first time it was a doozy i'm not gonna lie it hurt it hurt a whole lot like I was super tight. I remember just feeling the pressure of the dick and and yeah, the bleeding and uh yeah, that's not sexy. <laughs> remember the first time you gave somebody a blowjob? Damn. Yeah, I remember. I was damn. No, was that the first time? I don't I don't rem I don't remember the exact first time but I remember like one of the first first times I think I was like you know in my friend's apartment and I don't know we just wanted to experiment and try things did he use the line or something to get you to put his penis in your mouth no I no I initiated that ah. at this point you can see yourself good at BJ's oh yeah definitely for you, what's the secret to a good BJ? Are you a hand person, spit? Um, well, for me, I like to communicate with the person. Like, I always ask, like, you know, how do you like your dick sucked? Like, do you like, like it with no hands? Do you like it with hands? Do you like no pressure? Do you like a lot of spit? Do you like it, like, dry? Like, I don't know. Because I, I like to do it a variety of different ways. But um, I know for me, I, the way I like to do it, I get super sloppy on it. If you ever use your oral abilities to get something you wanted. <laughs> I only use my powers for good. For a guy, what's the easiest way for him to get in your pants? Are you a direct woman? Um, that's if I initiate it. Like, I'm pretty direct. Like, if I want to fuck you, I'm going to let you know that I want to fuck you, and yeah, and it's going to happen, if you want. <laughs> and when it comes to sex for you as a woman, do you need a good 20 minute pounding two or three times a day, or can you have sex once and be fulfilled, other than shooting, of course? Oh no, I need it like three or four times a day. So then you basically kill your boyfriends. <laughs> yeah, that's why I like to rotate them, you know, I like to have like multiple like partners because you know not everybody can handle like you know fucking three or four times a day and that's okay most partners you've had at once um like at one time like in one sitting or like i mean you've done two boys at once oh yeah guys, yeah you've done three guys you've done yeah, like, blow bang you've done gang bang you've been the center of attention yeah. i don't know yeah i've done two guys at once i definitely want to do more like I definitely want to do a bull bang. I want to get. I want to do a gang bang one day. Like, yeah, I just want to take like two dicks at one time, three dicks. Like I want a dick in every direction. When it comes to filming, do you have a preference between shooting the Gonzo type scenes or dialogue and all that? Mm, I don't have a preference. I like doing both. Like. Sometimes it's really fun to get into character and like do some acting. I really do enjoy those type of scenes. But I don't know, lately I've just been wanting to just get fucked. So like, I don't know, let's just I don't know, put on a sexy outfit, some baby oil, and like just bring on the dicks. <laughs> Tell me about your OnlyFans. Oh yeah, it's my OnlyFans. So on my OnlyFans, I have like a bunch of different scenes. I would say all of my best scenes are on my OnlyFans. So I have like, you know, boy girl scenes, girl girl scenes, uh, reverse gangbang, group sex, 
Like I literally have it all on my OnlyFans. Do you do custom work? Yeah, definitely. Craziest request you got for a custom? Um, the requests don't get too crazy. Um, I've been getting requests for like farting content, which is pretty new for me. And in the beginning, it was like kind of embarrassing to do, but now like it's a lot of fun. Like I just, I don't know, I don't take take it too seriously. Like I just like have fun and do it. And what is your handle for OnlyFans? Yes, so my OnlyFans is um, OnlyFans.com slash the Olivia J. Your social media handles? My Instagram, my latest Instagram, because they keep deleting me on Instagram, is um, at the real Olivia J. And my Twitter is at Olivia J XXX. And how much uh, of that goes into your content shooting when you shoot? Like, do people request more of your boobies? You shoot more booby pictures or butt pictures? Or... Um. I mean, it's a little bit of both. So like, you know, people want ass, some people want tits. Um, a lot of people want feet pics. I do those as well. I do a lot of feet videos and feet pictures. Um, yeah, like whatever fantasy you have, just let me know and like, I'll make it happen for you. Have you ever considered shooting a scene with the fan? I did it once. What was I, it like? It was, it was a lot of fun. Like, you know, he was like super excited and, um, you know, I wanted to like make sure that he enjoyed it, you know, without coming too fast. But yeah, it was a lot of fun. And for you, what's the reality of this business versus what people think it is? It's definitely a lot of work. Um, a lot of people think it's just like this big like free-for-all party or fuck fest, but no, it's definitely a lot of work. You definitely have to put in a lot of work into your brand. Um, sometimes there's long days on set and sometimes like, you know, you, you work with people that you don't always vibe with, you know, that's a reality. And I don't know. For branding purposes, do you think people come for personality or just want you to get boned? I don't know. I mean, you guys tell me, I don't know, but a lot of people tell me that they like my personality. A lot of people like to see me like get real, so it's both. Anything you want to say to all of your fans? Love you guys. I really do appreciate you guys for like being here with me I'm on this journey. It's definitely been like a learning curve because like I said, I've, I come from the nine to five world and a very like, I don't know, kind of religious background. So this is all very new to me. So it's been a lot of fun. It's been a fun ride and just stick with me and like continue to see me grow and do new things. Cause I definitely plan on like doing a bunch of new things in the new year and in the future to come. Thank you, Olivia. Thank you.